Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm trying. I do not usually tape the edges of the countertops, but I'm doing sort of a, like a dirty geode board. And I, I legitimately don't know exactly what to do because I was so overly impressed with what Michael did yesterday. How many colors are in this cup? Did you do a little base color first, Dan? Yeah. Just kind of messy, right? Random. You see, I keep asking the cameraman stuff because he's actually the real artist here. He just somehow lets me hang out and do some of this stuff. But if you notice, I'm trying to get a little better at a few different looks. I'm kind of tired of what I see epoxy guys out there doing. And I feel like everybody just copies each other and keeps repeating the same stuff. And well, my stuff might be so ugly, nobody wants to copy it, but it's unique, as my grandma would have said. You know what, I hope you, I hope you are unique. I hope everybody out there knows how unique you are. Let's go, let's go, Levi. My name's not Brandon. How are you? Joy. Love you, Joy. Now you're gonna have more joy than you've ever had in your life, Joy. I promise you, no, I don't know if you will. Don't, don't hold me to that, but I'll try. Okay. Wow. Joy. Joy is like, I just followed a dumbass that tells stupid dad jokes. I'm the guy that the girls can follow without making their dudes jealous. That's probably why. <laughs> I'm like the safe follow guy. <laughs> Your husbands are like, who are you following? Let me see this man. And then they look at me and they're like, oh, you're good. You can watch him all day. Oh. <laughs> that mother freaker. I love the techniques and the info you share. I love you all. I hope you all are having a great day. Um, I'm actually, I got really good news. I didn't really want to say much about it, but I had a family member that was in a really bad accident. And I don't, I'm not um, the closest. I ha haven't been able to stay the closest with him, like physically, because we don't talk a lot for the last few years, but I'm a massive fan of him because he's been one of the better people I've ever known in my life. And nobody knew if he was doing okay for the last few days. So I've probably been a little quiet and not as spry, but I got a text from him this morning that he was alive and that he had survived a pretty bad ordeal in another country. So God bless him. Made my freaking day better. So Care Bear. <laughs> this is such a funny thing. Dude, I grew up with a dad that never let me watch movies at all. And me and my sister went to um, summers at my mom's house one time, and I was like seven. And first movie I ever watched. Guys, make fun of me if you want. Go screw off. I'm probably more manly. But the first movie I ever watched was Care Bears, and I still remember that. And I remember the little heart shooting out of their chest for heart power or something. And I was like, man, movies are... Pretty unique. And then the very next movie I watched at my grandma's house was Romance on a Stone. And I remember I cried, got freaked out. I thought that dude had really lost his hand to the alligator. And I, and I grew up all my life thinking Romance on the Stone was the scariest movie in the world. And I saw it like, I saw it when I was a Marine and a little tougher. I still cried. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I was like laughing so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, I, how serious I took that poor thing when the, when the alligator bit that dude's hand off. I didn't know you could just fake that stuff. So, you know this right here is bronze. Then what are what are our four colors, Michael? Brown. We got brown. Get down, brown. Copper, red copper. Red copper. I dig the red copper. The red copper always just looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. I think red copper is kind of one of our kind of one of my favorite colors. Um, Spike Man said for garages, how does this hold up to rock salt in the road? Oh, the, the rock salt can, cannot damage this whatsoever. This here, this is a very, I mean, and this is not our garage epoxy, but we have like really good flooring epoxy too. Come out to a class. That's what kind of one of our bigger classes we do is our flooring classes. And we kind of, I think we're pretty well known for fixing some of the worst floors you can find. So. Um, he said, I'm about to be ordering, I'm in the Midwest, Chicago. Dude, let us know. Just call us up and let us know how we can help you. So we'll walk you through everything exactly which product to put down. Tell us what your price point is, what you're trying to get for your customer, and we'll help you with it. Can you use it on tumblers? Can you use this on tumblers? Um, yes, but I would actually use our 
cheaper epoxy. We have two different countertop epoxies and just use our UV product for the tumblers. You don't, you don't need this. Oh, look at that ass splooge right across the top of it. Dang it, Levy. Thank you for the love, guys. Okay, remember, you don't get to see my areola to 5,000 likes and you don't get to see full nipple till 10,000. Oh, and we're in Grand Junction, Colorado for those people that care. I want to join the epoxy trade. Where are the workshops? The workshops, links in the bio, and I will say we have the best workshop in the world. We travel the world doing them. And the reason being is we don't show up to teach you something so that we can sell you something. We go over every single aspect of failures, the science of it, the chemical combination, what's happening, what's happening with moisture, how to expel moisture, how to stabilize pretty failed foundations. I mean, it's a pretty technical class, but don't get intimidated because if you've never worked with epoxy, um, or if you've worked with it all your life, we still definitely slow down and spend lots of times to go over all the, the little details. And it, sometimes the most skilled guys in class learn the most because they're pretty smart, but they show up in class and there's always something they didn't know, so. Marianne, we love you. Marianne, you have the name of one of my favorite teachers and God rest her soul, she passed away, but she was such a sweet lady. You're probably way. Probably have like 80, 90 more years left. But thank you for being so awesome. I don't know, every time I see your name on here, I get excited. So. Okay, if I, I'm just dumping all my scraps into one cup. And don't worry, this epoxy is only 200 degrees. I just have slight third degree blistering burns on my hands. No, not, I'm joking about that, but it is like kind of warm because I was on a phone call and everything was mixed and it sat in here for like 40 minutes, I think. So, I don't know the exact temp, but tis what it tis, guys. Mary Ann, thank you so much. Do the dirty pour through the brown. Wouldn't it like that? Is that all? Did I just blow my whole load and not get everything covered? Damn it. Spoil. I'm not doing this. Na, 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 nothing's happening. Yet. I'm not using spray paint because I don't believe in it. The story of my life. A little bit of glitter. A little bit of spray paint that didn't happen. A little bit of glitter. That always happens. Tiny little mix. Super hot epoxy. It's probably gonna straight up just turn like a bird crap on this now. We don't know. We don't know. We'll patiently drop it out. Dude, if you're that badass, just show up and you're a real faux painter. Just show up to our master class so you can pick a little bit of whatever you want to. There's an awesome one in North Carolina coming up. Um, and then the Grand Junction classes, we're actually changing all of our future Grand Junction classes to master classes only. So meaning you're gonna go over walls, floors, countertops. We go very in depth, everything from marketing, how to start a business, how to bid jobs, how to measure jobs. So, um, I really spend a ton of time trying to go into depth of realistic, real world things I see that, that I believe contribute to failures because failures are what take all the fun out of epoxy. And a lot of times you were 99% right and you just needed to just know a few little details and you could have succeeded. So, so just show up to the class. We try to go over all those details with you. I don't know that, I, I think I just blew this. Geo's back epoxy out. Attached to Wooden design is the same process like this. Oh yeah, very similar guys, very similar. Okay, I don't know if I tip it to fill in my middles or what do I do, what do I do? I don't know. Probably gonna be a big fail, big fail in front of you guys, but you know what? Good thing I'm not afraid to fail. Good thing I'm not scared to fail. It's hanging. Is it hanging? It's a bucket. Oh, is the bucket hanging? Yeah. We, oh, got a, it we got a, we got a dangler. Right. We got a clinger hanging onto that. Okay. This, 
This is called hot, hot, hot epoxy. I'm just gonna probably push this a tiny bit and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna mix some clear. Watch this settle back into itself and I'll show you how they can cheat and mix clear faster than you've ever mixed clear epoxy. Yeah, we'll do that too. I'm gonna just grab instead, just, oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh, look at this, guys. I get lost in my own place. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? And you know what? I'm not doing this. You guys are gonna watch me do something that you shouldn't watch me do. Because I, like I say, I blew my load there all in one little spot. Here we go. Am I mixing in a used cup that was already had wet epoxy? Yes, I am. But I actually want there just to be some dirty different colored resin in here. I'm filling a lot of voids. Wisdom's proved by its result. So when I mess this up fully, you guys will know I'm not wise about epoxy sometimes. What color will you add? This Stacey. one? Stacy. Stacy James. It's been so long. There's a la there's a lady. Everybody check out. Stacy James is an amazing person, artist, just human being. So if anybody out there just needs to know an awesome person, check out Stacy James's page and say hi to her. Tell her thank you for being awesome. Thanks for being here, Stacy James. All day long we can epoxy in a basement floor. Just let us know. Either you can do it or we can do it. All right. I miss you too, Stacy. Said, this is not art. It's <laughs> this is not what? Art. This is not art. I, you know what? You don't hurt my feelings. You can't hurt my feelings telling me this isn't art. As long as your mom thinks it is, it is. Ooh, See? So Went from art, not art, to art. Art is subjective, so just because every single person that walks by this says it looks like shit does not mean it looks like shit. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Looks really good with your eyes closed. A two-car garage, pretty simple to do a two-car garage. Um, and just on average, you'd need about two to three kits of our outdoor flex is what I'd usually recommend for a two-car garage. Um, I think those are $3.49 a piece, so, and once you're, you get a little better at it, you can probably use one and a half kits and get that really down there. But usually you're a thousand bucks, around a thousand bucks or a little less for a really high end. You can get pretty damn decorative too if you just show up to a class if you want to be crazy with it. So we'll let you be crazy here. All right. Like I said, do as I say, not as I do. Always mix for the full recommended time. I don't really care if this goes in the dumpster, if it looks cool. It's gonna make me happy, so. Bobby from Ohio. Hope you're having a good day, Bobby from Ohio. Thanks for being on our page today. Everybody, thanks for all the follows. You guys are so badass and nice. I'm okay with all the hate and all the love because I receive so much love and through some of the, what people think is hate, it's actually kind of helpful to me someday because I realize like, oh shit, I do need to do things different, so. Live in Aloha? Thank you for being on our page, bro. Brother or sister, whoever you may be. Okay, now, as I say, I'm not doing anything. I am not. Uh -oh. Say what? What's? Oh, live in Aloha. I love you. She she did help me. Thank you, live in Aloha. I just realized who that was. I even like your name on there. Live in Aloha. I've been living chilly. From England, England. We love you. I really do like England. I have a lot of fun over there. That's probably one of the places I've enjoyed going in Europe more than anywhere. 
I just love your green to hillsides. Like, we are in western Colorado. Every time I go to London, I just try to drive in the evenings, your sunsets, and through all your guys' fields and countryside is like the nicest drives in the world. Tired of dealing with customers. Creative bought epoxy designs. I can't wait to work with you someday. So definitely show up. What color spray paint did you use? Um, like some gold and like the weirdest purple I've ever got. So here we go. Yes, it looks ugly as hell. But we're about to torch it and see if it just looks like a torched ugly as hell or if it actually turns out pretty. But guess what? You don't know until you know. Badass, dude. Thank you, Jay Money. Thanks for coming on here. I hope you guys share. Share what you did with us. I hope you had fun, most of all, and if you learned something. Or... The torching is where everything either shows that your art was really terrible and you didn't know what you were doing, or it turns out perfect. So. I don't usually torch garage floors. Usually garage floors or something um, that you'd spray alcohol on. Um, really easy to do too. And then you can reach out across it without messing up your pattern. But I have torched it depending on if somebody's really trying to keep a specific crisp pattern that we can't blow out. Oh, big time. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is a lightweight but very durable product. So whether you're in a mega yacht that you just want flexibility or whether you're in a mobile home and you want an inexpensive option, it's not a problem at all. It's going to be way more durable than the average surface you're going to find. I'm trying not to totally... I want to, I want to blend in these little voids. So I'm just warming up the epoxy around it so it'll just naturally flow in there. As, as long as we're pretty like patient with this because we have a lot of different heights we poured a ton of epoxy for just a few square feet and of course i have way too many colors down but just let it slowly do its own thing it'll turn out way better than if you try to force it thank you thank you very much thanks for being on our channel please hit that follow button the like button, subscribe, whatever you want to do, guys. The, did I get it? Show up to a class. If you want to learn, we teach some amazing classes here. Really fun. We have one coming up in Florida here in two weeks. That's going to be a really fun one in Vero Beach, Florida. Then we have the um, Grand Junction, Colorado. We have um, Ocean Isles, North Carolina. So, I want to know who out there got to see Michael's amazing one he did yesterday that I actually like more than this one. I'm screwing off, but I'm really just trying to copy him, and I want you guys to see what he did yesterday. The guy behind the camera. So I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Um, you know, I have torched some floors, but usually only if we're really trying to get a specific, unique pattern for a purpose. So, but usually I try not to torch floors because um, you can spray alcohol. It's a different viscosity of product and it works with an air release that's, that works really well with alcohol. So 99% isopropyl sprayed down. Um, sometimes it's more effective in this case, these cases. So. Here we are. I'm just going to um, spray a little bit of alcohol on this. Um, Peel my tape. Uh, oh. uh, we don't have East Texas or Michigan, but we have. you can fly down to where it's warm. Or if you're, in, if you're in Texas, I guess you can just fly to another place. And I am looking for a showroom in Texas to do a class in. But we haven't found a good one where we could really. I, I like to, I'm pretty picky when I teach somewhere that it's an area where I really feel like I can give value to every single person there. Have enough space for you to do all your samples. because. All of my classes are extremely, extremely hands-on. So 
I'm not a person. I don't believe you're going to learn by watching me screw off. I get so annoyed. I see all these guys teach epoxy classes, and they walk around like they're... Who, who's that mega preacher that had that billion-dollar church that then the hurricane happened and he wouldn't let anybody even inside because he was afraid they'd mess up the carpet? So what is that? Not Benny Hinn. One of, the, one of those guys. Joel Olstein. I don't like seeing epoxy classes that look like Joel Olstein trying to impress a bunch of people while, while some instructor that sucks at art just like I do. I'm not saying I'm any better other instructors. You're probably way better, but I can't stand seeing them when they're just screwing off, letting you guys just watch them, because guess what? Last time I checked, you're not going to learn a damn thing from just watching a bunch of other people play around and have fun. Come, so. to LA. Come to L.A. We are actually trying to plan an L.A. class right now, by the way, just so you guys know, but we're just getting a facility finalized in L.A., and we will be there. I work in California a ton, and I have a ton of people I want to start trying to support out there a little better, so... There's our alcohol, and... What does the alcohol do? The alcohol just helped really self-level any little final voids, pop any air bubbles. Um, I also use it sometimes here when I get epoxy on my arm. I'll clean it off with alcohol. So. Alcohol? Yep, yep. Do, yes. do we have one? We, no, we do not have a class in Arizona, but like I say, if you're in Arizona, come right up to the to the Colorado class. We have people who come from all over the world, so don't don't feel afraid of just traveling a few miles and investing in you. If you really want to learn it, I'll promise you a class is worth it. And I, I don't know how many people have talked to me and talked to me and talked to me and tried and tried and never gone to classes, and then they finally show up to a class. And just had a guy a few weeks ago, and in about 20 minutes he goes, oh my God, and he's been doing this for a long time. And then about 20 minutes in, he says, I have learned so much. I can't believe I haven't been to this class earlier. So. No, stop messing with it, Levi. Get your dirty, rotten fingers off of it. Yep, yeah, and just to help self-level it, I also burned some areas with the torch, which is just fine, because we can pour a clear over here this. But I'm going to show you guys a couple things that actually impressed me that I think are quite a bit prettier than that little piece of crap I just did. This is the cameraman that's holding the camera right now. He did this yesterday, so tell me that's beautiful. Even his, even the drips off the table are prettier than some of the stuff I do, so. You gotta get down through the whole thing. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable when you really look at it, so. That's, that's typical with most of the stuff he does. This is a mirror. <laughs> yeah, it was a mirror he poured over. And then I'm going to show you a few things around the office so you guys can see kind of what, in a class, this is our classroom we're in, so we usually set up two to three people at a table, so you have quite a bit of workspace. We give you each samples. So you have epoxy, your own mixing cups, your own mixing sticks, your own sprayers, your own torch. You have all your own tools that you'd need to do, like a countertop, um, and you mix and pour and create all your own samples. So um, jobs just like this. Um, we went directly over tile. We filled all the grout lines. This was a really rough grid system that we filled in, leveled and fixed quite a bit of stuff. This actually ramped up here. There was a big step here um, that was about an inch and three quarters, but it was jagged, broken concrete. So we just floated all this out and ground it. Um, and we like to show classes how to actually do high-end stuff like this. So like in Vero Beach, Florida, you're gonna be doing a very decorative floor. We're gonna be taking an old nasty garage floor and making it something that could be a dance floor. So we take walls like this. This used to be like a doomsday facility, basically, that we came into um, and there was even like all these weird notches and cubbies in this wall. So we just knocked everything out, tried to flatten it out and wall epoxy. And this is our non-sag formula of epoxy. It doesn't really roll on or pour like the other stuff. It's more like peanut butter and you trowel it. So um, but as you can see, this is, we haven't really polished this, but I've started and I will finish. It's a little more polished down here at the end. This is, I have two square feet of what it should look like, but, um, but I will get this done in no time at all. So um, to, we're going to be teaching every class here. If you see it, say a master class, you're going to learn how to, the basics of building and fabricating countertops, how to deal with edges. And we don't do the taped edges and all the BS that people do because we show you what to do with a higher grade product. Um, we go over moisture, expansion joints, movement and slabs, um, bonding, penetration issues with epoxy. Like um, it's, it's endless. It's four days of very packed information and mostly just time with you guys where we get to work together and watch you guys. Usually your first day, 
a lot of your samples really suck and that they're messed up and there's burned stuff and then the, neg the even after lunch usually it gets a lot cleaner and then by the second and third day you see people getting so excited that the things they're doing are just turning out so i hope to see you in a class but i hope most of all no matter what you're doing i hope you're just blessed and that you have an awesome day and thanks for joining our live please hit the follow button or subscribe or whatever the hell you want to do for you and let us know what you want to see next just talk to you later